Hey YouTube, this is Kenyatta back. I'm coming back today to um, show y'all the sea moss. Well, let's finish off the process. I went past a little bit past 48 hours. I was going to work on this uh, last night, but I didn't. Uh, me and Queen were doing ice papers, talked, and you know, I just went to bed. <laughs> so I'm only a little bit past 48 hours. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to drain it. My tripod here is broke. Um, I got to finagle it to keep it set up a certain way. That's cool. I've had it for years. It's time for a new one anyway, all right? So I'm going to pour the water out. Here it is. Okay. See? You see the, the tripod just slide down, all right? Y'all bear with me. All right, but anyway, pour this out. Okay. Um, and now what I'm going to do, instead of just throwing it in a blender, I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to use this, okay? Because it is seem, does seem kind of hard. So I'm going to chop it up a little bit. Okay, and it's not hard, you know, but from what I understand, you know, it can do some damage to your uh, blender. So, and so I saw in like in some of the comments, people were recommending to chop it down a little bit because some people reported that it destroyed their blades like if they didn't have like a really high power blender like a, a Vitamix okay um y'all go ahead donate to the channel I would appreciate that if you feel so inclined if you like some of the content that I'm bringing forth here I'm a religious study series um Talking about food, various types of food, vegan food. I'm, I have a, a salad that I want to make tonight for my dinner. So if I get the stuff, because I woke up this morning to go to the gym. And I, I I actually woke up to go for a walk. I was thinking I'd be able to go for a walk. And I look outside and it's snowing. <laughs> if you saw my other videos this past week about how nice it was, it's snowing. I cannot stand it here. <laughs> I really cannot stand it here, okay? <laughs> um, I can't. But it is what it is, okay? I cannot stand the weather. It's just a lot of things about the city that I don't like. Yeah, I'm going to move. <laughs> okay, one day. And if I don't, and I'm just saying this to say it, you know, I put my life in God's hands. So the greater God, they know, he knows what I need more than I do. Okay. What he wants for me more than I do. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was just about to say, I came back here to stay here one year and how many years later. But anyway, and I mean, I'm sure you have that in other cities, too. I mean, it's not just Cleveland, you know, where the weather is one minute is this and one minute that a little bit unpredictable. I mean, I, I know Cleveland. It's March. You know what I'm saying? It's still March. The end of March, but it's still March. Like I said, we could have some cold days all the way through uh, May, you know, and June before it really, really kind of lights up. Uh, yeah, you know, gets warm. So I'm going to do real quick. <coughs> I'm just going to turn the camera down real quick so you can kind of see how I chopped it up. It's crazy here, y'all. My setup. You see my body more than anything. But I chopped it up pretty, you know, pretty tight here. Small, rather. Small as I could. All right. Now I'm going to throw this in the blender. It's not going to stay up. I don't know what happened. It's the screw here. It just won't stay up. So if it falls, just bear with me. All right. Maneuvering with this uh, tripod a lot more than like when I had my tarot channel. It was just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? I had it set a certain way. It was just sitting there. <laughs> you know, I wasn't moving it around or anything like that. But now it's like... You know, I don't have all the fancy uh, stuff for this, but it doesn't mean it can't be done. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm still doing it, you know, and I'll find another tripod just like I found this one in the first place. Because when I, 
my other channel, my YouTube channel when I first, uh, my tarot channel when I first started, and I just had my phone set up against some books <laughs> in my office, in my house, all right? Okay, so anyway, here we have it. It all chopped up. Pour some water on it. I think they said like just a little bit over the, the very top. And go from there. Hold on. Okay. Put some water just a little bit over the top. Now, I may not keep the camera on, you know, for the entirety of this. Uh, that's how I did it. Okay. I may not keep the cap camera on for the entirety of this blending here. No need for that. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll start it. Okay. Make sure it's screwed on at the bottom real good. I'm going to have to invest in a Vitamix. Okay, I am done. Um, first, I put it on the blend setting. Really wasn't doing much of anything but blending. And then I put it on the puree setting. Here it is, okay? Uh, I keep containers. I don't have a, I use up my jars that I keep. So I got my old <laughs> tofu container. This is made here in Cleveland, this particular brand here. Okay, I really like this. I used, used to get, I think it was the Nassoya brand and they had the silk and the firm, the extra firm, extra, extra firm, I think they even have. Um, but, uh, I, I used to think all tofu was the same except for the, you know, I knew firm wasn't silken. I don't like the silken, but I know it's, it's really used more for desserts and stuff. Okay. But anyway, past that, uh, this is just comes just firm. Okay. It doesn't say that on here, but y you know, it's firm, but anyway, um, so I'm going to put it in here. I, I, I thought to myself, I better keep that for something. And here we have. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Okay, I tasted this. This shit is nasty. Um, period. Point blank. Smell is strong. It looks like applesauce. I'm sorry. But I'm going to... What I'm going to do with it is... I'm going to... Uh, I saw someone put up a, in the comment sections of one of the videos about how to make sea moss um, a drink. Like with soy milk. Well, they just said non-dairy milk. Okay. Um, cinnamon, you know, nutmeg, stuff like that. I'm going to do something like that this morning. I think the recommendation is like a tablespoon a day. Um, now, a friend of mine who told me about this in the first place, how to, you know, well, I mean, I, you already saw my video if you watched it about CMOS and my experience with it in the past. She, but, um, she kind of brought it back to my memory. She was doing a little bit more than a tablespoon a day. She was putting it like in everything. It didn't hurt her, you know what I mean? Uh, but see, it looks like applesauce, okay? So I'm gonna make me a little drink here. And I'm gonna put it in there, put a table, I'm gonna put a tablespoon in and see. I'm gonna see how I respond to it, how my body reacts to it. Now sometimes, you know, with these things, you might have a negative reaction, but sometimes it's like a cleansing that's taking place, you know, uh, cleaning out the toxins and everything. And this is full of minerals, et cetera, et cetera. So if I get like a massive headache <laughs> today from drinking it, I'm not going to discard it. I'm going to give it a few days because sometimes I know maybe about two or three days, then your body will kind of adapt to it okay or the cleansing process has taken place all right so uh and it's continuing to but it's not as you know just heavy hit the more you do it so i'm gonna make my drink um i'm gonna use some soy milk i told you guys i like soy milk i'm gonna put a banana in it i'm gonna soak some dates put some dates in it probably a little vanilla extract um probably no sweetener just let the banana sweeten it i might put a tad bit oh i'm not a my agave nectar. I got to get some more of that. So probably just let the banana, the banana and the dates is enough sweetener. All right. And maybe some cinnamon. And, um, 
I'll let y'all know what it tastes like and how I responded to it, okay? I mean, everything ain't for everybody. And I what I mean by that is some people may have, you know, like I said, the reaction I had before, maybe I'm allergic to it. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. But this shit stinks and it's nasty, period, point blank. And I'm not going to sit up here in front and be like, ah, it's, that gets bland. No, the fuck it isn't. <laughs> okay. And I put that lemon, y'all saw me when I was doing, I did the lemon and everything to neutralize some of the, I think they said that, you know, I mean, it's just, a, it's just, I don't want to say it's a weird smell. It just smells like it beats ocean water you know or wherever it comes from sea moss whatever but anyway that's what i'm gonna do now i might even look up a jamaican uh, irish moss drink and make that too okay and i think it might be along the lines of the same thing i don't know i had it once years ago i mean like i'm talking about years i was very young all right and I don't remember if I liked it, disliked it. I don't remember. My preference, where I was going, it was in D.C., a place called, um, ne was it Negril? I think Negril. They had carrot juice, honey. They had the best carrot juice. It was so freaking good. All right. Uh, but anyway, so I think I tried the Iris Moss there one time. And I was like, no, I rather had a carrot juice. That I, I don't remember anything else other than that. All right. So I'll be back. And let y'all know what's up. I am going to, because I've been making that bread that I made two weeks ago. I, I made it last week. It came out a little funky. It was kind of thin, but it, you know, it was edible and I ate it. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this in there too. Okay. I'll make that today or tomorrow. All right. I'll be back. <laughs> Peace. All right, y'all. Here it is. Here's a drink. It's, um, a little soy milk, banana, dates, a few almonds, vanilla extract, cinnamon, teaspoon of spirulina, and a tablespoon of the sea moss. I tasted it. Mm, mm, mm. I don't taste the sea moss. <laughs> I don't taste it. So that's cool. I'm going to... Start adding it to things, okay? I mean, I tasted just a tiny, tiny bit, like aftertaste, like in the back of my throat. But um, I'm like, yeah, I taste it. <laughs> but it's still not that bad. It's still really not that bad. Um, I'm going to give it a few days and see. Okay, me, I don't care if I bought it or not. If I just can't take it, I can't stomach it. I'm like, it's gross. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Down uh, the sink, it goes into the garbage. <laughs> okay, but we'll see. All right, that's it. Sea moss. All right, y'all be blessed. Peace.